Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Scorpios. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of December 2019 going into January in regards to your love and romance. So we're going to start off with the shells and then we'll get into your tarot cards and then the oracle card or message that is being given to you from spirit. So let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December, going into January for Love and Romance. Okay, Scorpios. All right, Scorpios. Wow, you guys are definitely ending. You're going to be ending the year very, very strong. Now, I do want to mention they that I they're highlighting here for some of you guys um you may be experiencing or finding out or getting news about some type of pregnancy now this could be pregnancy from you or your partner or it can also represent someone that is very close a relative that could be very close that will be giving news of a new birth or a new beginning for some it could be marriage as well now what they are highlighting here is for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, again, if you are trying to have children or start a family, now is the time to do so, as you will be experiencing like being extremely fertile, uh, even accidental, so be careful with that. Uh, for others of you, those of you guys that are in a um, are currently single, what they're saying is that there is a beginning. There is a new beginning for some of you guys. It could be birthing like a business um is something that is very dear to you putting a lot of work and effort towards it or trying to get something off the ground so if you guys have been trying to start your own business or anything like that now is the time to do so as i do see you guys very blessed and bountiful for that um as well as communication scorpio try the best you can to be a little bit more compassionate or more understanding of others or people around you as i do see you guys uh with a very quick temper and what they're saying is that sometimes we don't really, there's no malice behind what we say, but sometimes we do tend to speak before we think. And I think that this is going to um, connect with you guys on a deeper level because communication is going to be majorly important for you guys for 2020. Um, so again, if you guys do find yourself to be a little bit uh, very quick to, to snap, basically, <laughs> Be careful with that uh, as you don't want to create tension or any quarrels between you and your partner because something you say may accidentally come off as mean um, or nasty. So again, keep that in check. Now, I also do want to mention um, you guys do have a shell that is standing and that to me signifies a blockage in regards to, again, communication or a blockage in regards to something that you've really been putting a lot of effort and energy to. Now, this could be in the work field. Uh, this could be that you have been experiencing like the past couple of months a bit of stress. Um, but we do have Jupiter um, that is going to be in conjunction with Saturn. So we'll get into that for the January readings as it's truly going to affect 2020. But again, if there's any blockages that you have been experiencing in regards to your finances or in regards to business itself, that's quickly going to start to dissipate. You're going to start to see more opportunities. Those of you guys that work in sales or anything that has to do with like running your own business, you're going to start to see more people coming towards you. And I feel that the majority of your business is going to be coming from word of mouth um, because communication is very highlighted for you guys for 2020. Um, so again, making sure that your reputation is good, making sure that you offer that 100% customer service, Making yourself available is going to make you not only come off as a good business, but as well, it's going to highly impact how, how your business is going to continue for the coming year. So really putting effort. I know sometimes, especially when you guys are in sales, I know sometimes that could be very, uh, it, it, it's, it's something that takes up a lot of our time. Um, and I can totally relate to that. But making yourself available does give, you know, the customer or the client that feeling of comfortability. And I think that that's going to be very, very major because, again, the more comfortable they feel, that means that they're going to have a good, you know, 
a good image of you and bringing other people towards you for your business is going to highly impact and it's almost like recycled energy what they're telling me so for some of you guys it could represent returning customers for others of you like i said uh word of mouth is going to be very important uh and this could again have great impact in regards to your relationship because sometimes unfortunately when we you know are currently struggling with finances it does affect our relationship and our dynamic uh, with our partner because we're stressed because we are there but not like mentally there not present so I think that for a lot of you guys you're going to start to see uh, progress when it comes to your partnerships or more communication or understanding uh, because you guys will be doing um, or experiencing a more blessed full uh, in your financial sector anyways now for those of you guys that are currently single um, I do see you guys being a little bit more, I guess, spending more time. Um, a, a lot of reflection is going on right now. And I think for a lot of you guys, it could be looking towards the past. What Spirit is telling you is what's done is done, Scorpio. You need to let go of the past and move forward. And the only way to do that is to stop looking towards the past as that was the best moment of your life or uh, feeling like perhaps a relationship, being with someone was like the best time of your life, basically. What they're saying is the best is yet to come and you need to put your intention behind that so that you can open new beginnings that are definitely coming through for you, but so you can also find grounding or you so you can also find, um, it's almost like putting positive energy towards the present will evolve into the future bringing more of of that feeling more of situations that make you feel blessed make you feel like this is the best time of your life so remember that okay all right we're gonna get into your reading now with the tarot cards and let's see what the cards say okay All right, your first card here, Scorpio, is the full card, beginnings. That's exactly what they were highlighting. And again, like I said, I highly encourage you guys to stay tuned for the January readings for 2020 as we're going to go deeper into the conjunctions that are happening and how that's going to affect every single sign. But back to your reading, the full card does represent being at a point where there is going to be new energy, new beginnings for you. For some of you guys, it could be a new endeavor. Uh, in regards to love and romance. Now, if you guys can see there at the bottom, there is a dog and dogs are all of, all about loyalty um, when it comes to partnerships. So for some of you guys, it could be that they are declaring or wanting to advise that there's a new beginning coming towards you um, so that we can work on issues that have impacted us in the past moving forward so you can start fresh and new. Now, the obstacle here is the King of Swords. And like I said, about communication, you guys try to keep um, your communication uh, clear and concise, obviously getting your messages across. But again, try the best you can to be a little bit patient, even if people are really testing you, only because you can say things that are interpreted the wrong way, or you can say things that later on you regret, especially when it comes to arguments, when it's um, in regards to relationships. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they could be also challenging you uh, in regards to your temper, Scorpio, so keep that in mind. Now, your past and passing position is the Knight of Wands. So again, like I said, I see a lot of momentum and I see progress when it comes to your financial sector and I think that that's going to give you guys more play time or more time available to actually put energy towards building or um, connecting with people perhaps that you kind of haven't really been communicating with because perhaps time restrict you've been time restricted um, but I do see you guys being able to move forward or progress uh, with something that perhaps was stalled because of work um, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship again the passion and the intensity of that connection does deepen. Now, in the coming present, you have here the Four of Swords. Four of Swords could represent having to take some time off. I know that uh, being around the holidays, a lot of people tend to get their vacations or anything like that. 
but what they're saying is make sure to get your rest uh scorpio make sure to be well rested and taking care of yourself don't overwork or overstrain yourself as you don't want to have any um further implications when it comes to health wise now the energy that is currently crowning you is the page of swords so the page of swords um could signify being again like i said short tempered uh, for some of you guys um if you are dealing with someone uh that perhaps you're no longer with in a relationship this could be you looking into them or looking at their social media uh wanting to see what's going on in their life and again we go back to the message that initially was given to you if there was an ending to a relationship or there's no communication with someone from your past you need to let that go you don't want to go into the new year uh, with the energy of dealing still with people from the past. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes people come into our lives and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be here for a very long time. They're here to teach us a lesson, something about ourselves that are go that's going to either make us a better person. Um, hopefully that's the case for you. But again, if there's no communication and you've been waiting on communication from someone from the past, like I said, an energy that comes and goes, you need to close the door to that Scorpio. Now, what you don't see coming is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands does talk about uh, feeling very like you're achieving your goals or you're going to be achieving a goal uh, going into 2020. The Six of Wands can also represent feeling very blessed. I, I, it's almost like for a lot of you guys, I think those of you guys that have been in a long-term relationship, um, perhaps there's there's been like communication hasn't been that great and you guys have been tested um, because you do have two cards, three cards here of swords. It's more of like a mental type of thing where you're overthinking or overanalyzing and what spirit is telling you is count your blessings, put energy towards that instead of focusing on just the negative. Perhaps you started a relationship just recently and everything is going great, but you're seemingly often questioning or asking if this is going to last or if this is going to basically fall apart the way it has in the past. And what Spirit is telling you is let go of the energy from the past. You're not in the past. Live in the present. Be blessed. Count your blessings and move forward so that more energy towards optimistic energy, positive energy is being pulled therefore putting you in situations that continuously keep making you feel like you're blessed and you're thankful um if at this point there is um a connection with someone that perhaps you've been seeing or you've been dating for a while and all of a sudden the communication stopped um what they're telling you is don't be very quick or hasty to jump to conclusions allow that person to communicate and to pretty much say their piece uh, a lot of the times, and, and I can totally relate, uh, when you're dealing with people that tend to work a lot and you come from a very toxic type of relationship, it's easy for you guys to jump to conclusions. But if, you know, like I said, if that person is genuinely busy all the time, it doesn't necessarily mean that they just don't think of you or that they're not interested. It could just represent that they are really wrapped up into the projects or the business that they're running or the work that they're doing and it takes up a lot of their time that by the time they have any type of available time all they really want to do is rest because they feel ex you know exhausted so again be patient with that now your advice card here scorpio is the nine of wands and the nine of wands is again this is talking to me directly about getting to a point or feeling like you're exhausted like you've given it the best you can if you're dealing with the person from the past, what they're telling you is if you feel like you need to throw in the towel, now is the time to do so. Now is the, the time to decide. But don't just say it. Don't just say like, I'm so over this or whatnot. And then the moment they reach out or they communicate, you receive them with open arms. What they're telling you is if you feel that your hard work or the effort that you put into the relationship is not being appreciated and you're take and you're being taken for granted now is the time to cut the link to the past or past behaviors put your foot down and decide is this it and if it is close the door and don't allow them to come back into your life now for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship the same thing applies if you feel 
that it's usually you the one that's working towards the relationship because perhaps your partner's the one that's being very snappy or the partner is the one that is just communication like whenever they're upset they put excuses on everything else except taking responsibility for the fact that they disrespected you you need to put your foot down stop being a doormat scorpio now your next card here is the eight of swords and this is um indicating the energy of the partner or the person around you with the eight of swords feeling restricted uh, again, I do see a lot of stress in these cards. Um, it could be, again, like we were mentioning in regards to finances, it could be that that's bringing a strain to the relationship. Uh, for others of you, it could just represent like literally not having enough time to spend with each other because perhaps one or the other partner is working a lot. But with the Eight of Swords, so if it's you the one that is working a lot, you need to speak up. You need to tell your partner like, hey, I can't be available to you all the time. And you need to understand this and you need to be okay with this. And if, if you can't deal with that, then there's the door. Um, now, if this is you the one that's expecting so much from the partner and the partner is like really putting effort and energy towards um, work, towards building something or going towards a goal or achieving a goal, what they're telling you is be careful with pushing them to basically be careful with pushing them too much or too far um, because it will get to the point where they feel like they're tired or like they're just, you know, instead of helping them or instead of giving them that emotional support, it's going to get to the point where they're going to be like, you know what, enough is enough. I'm putting my foot down and it's time for you to step up and take responsibility for your behavior so it could be vice versa you guys it is a general reading but be careful because with these two cards it does signify um getting to the point of feeling like you know what i've had it and everything i do is not being appreciated and then that's when relationships tend to fall apart so just be mindful about that and be careful with that and again if this is you the one that's dealing with that energy and they're just not giving you commitment or they're not you know really putting the same effort that you're putting, then you already know what you need to do. Um, we're at the end of the year. We don't need to be dragging nonsense into the new year. Now, your next card here is the Hermit card. And the Hermit card, um, this is your hopes and fears. So, like I said, a lot of, for some of you guys, you may even be experiencing like being secluded or feeling like your partner. For some of you guys, it could be that you feel like your partner's trying to seclude you, trying to either push you away from people or being social or pulling you away from your family for some and again like i said if this is something that you've been experiencing scorpio you need to put your foot down and you need to let them know like hey you know what if you don't appreciate your family and you're not as close to them i respect that and i understand that but if i do you need to understand that and there's like there's just no uh What's the word I'm looking for? Like there's no other thing than for you to respect. And if you don't, then again, like I said, there's for some of you guys, it could be getting to the point of like breaking down or saying, you know what, this is it. I'm not dealing with this anymore. So if this, if it's um, you, the one that's dealing with that Scorpio, like I said, put your foot down and don't, don't be a doormat to anyone. If this is you, the one that's doing that to your partner, be careful because I do see them, you know, getting to a point of saying, you know what, it, it's almost like a realization that perhaps you're the one that's being very toxic in their life and uh, trying to restrict them or trying to pull them away um, just so you can keep them under your thumb is not the way to do it because they will grow tired of that very quickly. Now, your next card here is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, again, signifying to me, someone in this relationship is trying to pull someone away from either friends, from being social, or from uh, even their family. And it could be like you not wanting to deal with your family. And, you know, if the partner gets along very well with, with your mother, with your father type of energy and it's almost like it's a feeling of like some like you're trying to hide something um if this is you doing that scorpio you need to stop that nonsense and get it together um if this is something that you're experiencing with your partner 
put your foot down. Let them know you're not going to put up with this type of nonsense. Um, it's okay. We all go through that phase of not wanting to deal with anyone because we want to recharge our batteries. But when you're constantly doing that just so you can keep a person under your thumb, they will get tired of it. And that's if it's already not happening. It will get to the point where they start to see you in a different light and it's not a positive. So I think that for a lot of you guys, it could be the shadow side of your sign uh, that you're experiencing or that our pe people are uh, coming off or across that way. Now, for those of you guys that are single and have been dealing with a person that, again, they're very hard to read and they almost like try to portray themselves as someone that's very calm and they're always like homey type of energy. I think that it's just BS. You know, they're trying to hide who they really are. And what spirit is telling you is if you feel that this is this connection is not progressing or it's not moving forward because they're not meeting you halfway, then you need to cut those ties. You got to let those those ties pretty much burn out and walk away from that because you don't want to be left feeling like you're not like they're not interested or like you're an option or anything like that because I feel that your confidence can also be triggered and it's affecting you not just on an emotional level but on a mental level as well. So be careful with that Scorpio. Now I'm going to be pulling out a message that is from the Moonology Oracle cards and this is your specific message in regards to the month of December. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse beautiful card. So for a lot of you guys, um, again, going into the new year, there's going to be a release. There's going to be a feeling of being tired of giving it your all and not being appreciated. Um, for others of you, it could just represent like getting to the point of like speaking up to your partner and telling them, you know, you need to understand that the goals and aspirations that I'm going after is to give you a better life and you need to be okay with that. Um, if you feel that they're the ones that are like little by little trying to seclude you um, and you don't want or you don't feel like that's something you want to do, you need to speak up and you need to say your piece. You don't want to keep being a doormat doing whatever the partner is telling you to do um, because whatever it is that we suppress or whatever it is that we're sweeping under the rug eventually will get big enough where universe is going to make situations happen that we have to come face to face with those issues and having to deal with them uh, firsthand. So again, you don't want things to get out of control and it's best you start doing that now so that you can release whatever's not working for you going into the next year, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings, like, share, and comment, and stay tuned for the January readings as we will be talking about uh, the conjunctions and the major changes that are coming for 2020. I wish you guys the very, very best. Uh, Merry Yule, Happy Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope that you guys are able to spend all these beautiful holidays surrounded by loved ones and those that matter most to you. From my family to yours, Wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.